it's Michelle. I'm coming to you from Dana Beach again. On my time off, I like to do acrylic pouring. And I have been, I have taken the Shelly Art course and I am thrilled with it. I suggest anybody who wants to uh, learn this technique, please, please take the course. I can only show you what I know and what works for me. But tonight I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful Christmas ornaments. Without further ado, I'm going to show you what works for me. But once again, I do recommend that you um, take the Shelly Art course. It is um, $99, but it's $69 US because of the exchange. And um, I have made oh, just a bunch of these. I, I can't even tell you. Every one of them is different. Um, these are the same colors I've used, but um, they're just wonderful. Anyway, help. I'm going to take you down and I'm going to show you how to mix up the paints a little bit just for what I do. Okay, and here we go. So, the pillow paint I use is the Color Place from um, Walmart. It's fairly reasonable. It has to be this, the white premix color and this is in set. And I just pour that into, well, it's easier to deal with. And then, oh, ice is visiting with me right now. So that's what we use for our base, okay? And the base would be poured onto a fresh new Okay, so we just take off the ornament top. I'm gonna do several of these. Um, it's always kind of a good idea to clean them off with a little bit of alcohol. Make sure that there's nothing on it. Have a nice clean surface. Sorry guys, I thought I was a little bit more prepared. So I have three, I've mixed up all my colors already. All over here, okay. And to mix up the colors, the medium, you're going to want to use, I use the Glidden Premium. This is the semi-gloss untinted, or untinted, and it is base three. There is the, well, I don't want to tip it all over. This is what the consistency of it is. It's very gloopy. Okay. So. You mix half of that with half of the polycrylic minwax water base. I just so happened to find a little one at Home Depot. It's the same exact base and it's only filled to about here. So I fill the rest up with the minwax. And that is the medium that we use when we're for our paints. And the consistency of the paint should be about this. Everything is pretty thick when it comes to the Shelly Art. There's one. I think that was, uh, this is a Color Flash by Folk Art. This is Cobalt Blue. This is dioxazine purple. But you can see the consistency here when you mix the paints. And this one, I believe I have a fresh bottle here, is the Full Cart Color Shift in Brilliant Blue. Okay, so we've got all of our paints all mixed up. So you usually do a, a, a squirt of paint and then you put two times as much of the pouring meat. Now to make the um, cell activator, I don't care what anybody says, this stuff is the best. This is the Floetrol from Australia. It's a very tiny little bottle. This thing was $30. I just got my second bottle in. This one was $50, but a little goes a long way. So what I'm going to do is show you 
how much paint and Am seems like Amsterdam paints Amsterdam white titanium white and Amsterdam oxide black are the only ones any Amsterdam paint are the only ones that really work with this there's a couple others I think golden is another one and I got my little you know, flow trial here Throw a little bit of that in there and you really have to stir the consistency is the pillow paint is the thickest your paints for your um, colors are a little bit thinner than the pillow paint and the cell activator has to be a little bit thinner I do some black some white so I'm mixing this up and that's about the consistency you want see so drip okay so this goes back into the black bottle fill that all the way up now I'm going to mix up a paint for you just to show how much paint we need, what the, what the ratios are. It's usually either one to one or two to one. Two to one is generally for the, um, for the two paints. And anything else like um, the metallic paints or any kind of, um, any kind of micas, you want to probably use one to one. So that's about how much paint. And I have my pre mixed. This should be putting some gloves on pretty soon. I don't really measure anything. I've got to the point where I really don't have to. That's why you haven't seen any of my videos because I have been absolutely hooked on Shelly Art. And like I said, it's really well worth the money to go ahead and purchase this course. Because she has so many things, so many tips and tricks. And you also get access to a Facebook page which everybody shares and it is absolutely wonderful. What a great community of people, community of artists from all over the world. So this is about the consistency you want for your paints. Okay, so let's get started. You definitely want gloves for this. It is a very messy procedure. And I'm gonna lay it down right there. Here's my pillow paint. I said is the color place. Can you see that? So everybody can, let me see. There we go. Let me move everything over just a little bit. So we want to put a lot of paint down. Putting a lot of paint down. Try not to get too many bubbles. And I'm going to put a little bit of blue. A little bit of the pink I just mixed up and some of the color flash blue. Now, here's the black that we just mixed up, the black cell activator. Put a couple of drops on there and here is the magic. There you go. Is that not grand? Here's another one. Put a lot, good base down. Same order. The blue. The pink.
color shift blue and the white cell activator. That is gorgeous. Oh, see, there's the difference. There's the black, there's the white. Fair amount of paint. It's just plain old color place paint from Walmart. I think it's like $12 for, um, for a gallon, which is fairly reasonable. Now everybody's using different paints, different pillows, different, there's um, on the Facebook page, there is a lot, there are a lot of people who have their own cell activators because ours are not available. Here we go. Now I'm going to try and show you the, the blow technique here. Oop, there's a bubble. Get that nasty boy. You blow slowly. Wow, I think that one's my favorite. There you go. So those are some beautiful ornaments. Totally different, totally um, original, unique, none, no two the same. Now that paint is gonna drip over and the next day you'll end up with something like, well, maybe not the next day, it might be a couple of days later. So I'm just gonna to touch that up. But a lot of people just hang them on the tree anyways, and there's always a good side and a bad side to a tree, so I guess there's a good side and a bad side to these ornaments. In any case, it's been a pleasure. I haven't posted anything because I've been working so hard on these and on my show. So, and I have another show coming up in December. So um, between flying and um, painting, uh, I apologize for not getting another video out, but um, I've got to do just one more. I'm sorry, I'm just dying. And if you ever, if you want to move these, you just pick them up like that and move them over. Okay, one more. You want to put enough paint down so that it's going to leak over to the other side. So, let's try something different. Now this is also a color shift. This is, uh, I think it's called Mystical. I don't think it's available anymore either. And that's the gold. I'm gonna put some black on this one. I'm glad I put these in the little bottles. It's a lot easier to deal with. There. Gorgeous! I'm loving it. They dry really pretty too. They dry pretty much almost the same. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I found this. So, so on that note, I'm going to say goodnight.